Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a Dance Academy website using PHP, MySQL, jQuery and Bootstrap framework. In my last video I completed the functionality of designing different dashboards. So as you guys already know that I have created three types of users in this application. One is admin, second one is an instructor and the third one is a student and in my last video I created the dashboards of all three different users and now in this video I will discuss about uh, developing the functionality of uh, add dance categories okay so I will be maintaining various dance categories uh, so so that uh, at the time of adding the dance forms uh, we can select the category of each and every dance as well okay so uh, this is what we will be going to discuss in this uh, video so before coming to this video i just want to tell you guys that uh, if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so now let us uh, move on to start developing this feature so to start this feature first we need to go to our editor okay so as you can see here right now I have logged in as an admin and uh, the moment when the admin click on this dance categories uh, this page will display okay so first I need to include the sidebar in this uh, dance categories PHP file and then I need to start designing the add categories form so now let us first go to our editor okay so here you can see I have created a folder with the name as uploads and uh, I have created one more folder under that which is categories and in this is the folder in which I will be storing the images of various categories which admin will be going to upload okay so this is the folder which I have created uploads under that there is a categories folder and uh, now and I have already created a dance categories PHP file and as you can see here I have written this beginning code and as you can see I have written this uh, code already in this uh, dance category PHP file okay so now let us start creating a container a div with a class of container and then and another div with a class of three column and one more due with a class of nine column so first three column due is for displaying the sidebar now let's save it and now when I refresh you can see the sidebar started displaying and now let us move ahead so here I have created a due with a class of row with few inline styling and under that I have created an anchor tag with a class of btn btn info and data toggle attribute as well so this link I have created to display the add category button so that I can display a model whenever a user or an admin click on the add category button let's save it and now when I refresh you can see add category button start displaying okay now I have created a table so in this table I will be displaying various categories along with the various details like name of the categories their image name okay and then the tag as well and a table head and then I have created a table row uh, with a few table headers first is ID and then category name tag image and action and then I have created a table body okay and here I have written an SQL query to get all the uploaded categories from the table since admin has not yet uploaded any categories so still I have written this code so once the admin uploaded the categories then those categories will be fetched from the table and start displaying inside the table okay so now let's move ahead okay so now as you can see here here I have written down an SQL query which will select everything from the TBL dance categories and then I am passing this SQL query to this MySQL query function along with the connection okay and then I am checking if the MySQL table TBL dance categories contains records which is greater than zero 
then I will be iterating over those records using this while loop and I have passed this categories to this MySQLi fetch asoc method and if I got some rows then I will be displaying those records inside this table row okay so the first information I want to display is the category ID and the second one is category name and then the third one is tag name okay and then next is image of the category now let's move ahead okay so and I have created one more TD to display the actions and those actions are edit action and then delete action okay so as you can see here these classes are from bootstrap okay? btn primary okay and then I have given it a class as edit category so this edit category class I will be using in my jQuery code whenever I will be working on the functionality of editing the category okay and then I have set the data well attribute to the ID of each and every category and uh, I have uh, and there is a data target set to edit category ID okay and then this is edit label and uh, similar to edit link I have created delete link as well okay and I have given a class it has btn sm btn danger okay and then delete category class okay so delete category class I will be using to delete the category okay and I have passed the ID of that category to the data well attribute okay now let's save it and now when I refresh you will see a table started displaying okay so in this table right now I don't have any records because admin has not yet added any of the category so now let's move ahead and in else part if it doesn't has any record present in the mysql table then it will display no categories added yet message refresh okay so now let's move ahead okay and now i'm going to create a model okay so let me just go top so here you can see i have created a link of add category and i have passed the id of example model okay so this id is here as you can see here example model okay so whenever i will be clicking on the add category link which is this link it will call this model okay let's move ahead okay so i have created an another div inside this and then a div with a class of model content and then a model header to display the title under that model which is add dance category okay now let's save it and now when i refresh this and when i click on this add category you will see a model started displaying so i have not created the body of this model so now i will create that okay so here i have created a button uh, this button is to close the model okay so let's save it and refresh okay now when you can see this is this button okay to close the model and now i'm going to create the body of the model okay in that model body i have created a form with the method attribute set to post and action attribute is set to dance categories dot php and enc type attribute i have given as multi part slash form data okay that means with this form i'm going to make the post request to dance categories php file and in this post request i am sending multiple types of data along with the form okay which is text as well as image that's why whenever you will be uploading text as well as image information inside the mysql table then you must use this enc type attribute now the next i have created a model body due okay, and then a due with a class of form group to display label as category and an input text box uh, with name attribute set to category name and class as form control okay and then let's save it and refresh and now when i click on add category we'll see category label and text box started displaying 
and similarly I will create one more text box to allow the admin to enter the tag name okay which has the name as tag name and ID as tag name okay and then I have created one more form group to allow the admin to select the image for the category to upload okay so label as upload image and input type file with a name attribute as category image and the accept that means admin can select only images of type jpg jpeg png format okay now let's move ahead and here outside this due outside this model body due I have created one more due with a class of model footer and inside that model footer I have created a button to close the model and the moment when I close the model I want the page to be reloaded that's why I have used an on click event which will be reloading the page and then I have created an input type of submit and with the name as dance categories okay and with the label as save images so now save it and let's refresh so now when I click on add category so this model will display along with the few details for the admin to enter okay so now we have completed the design now we need to move on to develop the functionality of allowing the admin to upload the categories inside the MySQL table so to do that we need to write the PHP code okay but before that we need to uh, write which is the jQuery script okay so now this script I have written to highlight let me just close this to highlight this tab okay so now I'm in my dashboard and whenever I click on the dance categories tab or the menu item I want that particular menu item to be highlighted or I want it to be as active so to do that I have written this code here okay so now let's save it so now we need to move ahead to write the PHP code to upload these details on the server okay so now as you can see here right now I am on the top and here I am checking if the post request is successfully has been made okay that means when the user enters all these details and when the admin click on the submit or the save changes option if that post request is successfully been made okay here I have passed the dance categories name here inside this post underscore post if the post submit request is successfully been made then I will take the data which is the category name and the tag name which admin will be going to enter inside these text boxes Okay. I will be taking those data and I will store those data inside these variables okay and then the next thing is I need to get the details of image which I am trying to upload so I want to get the details of image like name of the image size of the image and the temporary name of that image okay and the location in which I am trying to upload that image so all these details regarding image I need to collect then so now you can see here I have used the if condition where I am checking if the user has selected the image and if the size of that image is more than the limit then I will display image file size is too large otherwise I will write otherwise I have written an insert category query and in that I have written this query insert into this table these are the information like category name tag name and category image and these are those details category name and then tag name is here and then image path is here okay so I'm inserting these three details inside the MySQL table TBL dance categories okay next I'm passing this SQL query to MySQL I query function along with the connection and then I'm moving the image under the uploads folder okay as I have already told you that I have created the categories folder and that is the folder in which I'm going to store each and every category image and this is the path of that folder and I have passed this path here okay so whichever category image admin will going to upload each and every of those images will be going to store under categories folder of uploads okay and then the, the moment when 
the admin upload the details then i want the admin to be redirected to dance categories php file so now this is everything about developing the feature of uh, dance categories upload okay so now let us test this feature so i have just saved it and now i have refreshed the page and now i want to add a category so let me just click on this add category and uh, here i will just write down the name of the category like uh, indian classical dance okay i will give it a tag as trending and i will select the image okay classical dance and i will click on open and when i click on save changes then you can see the details or the category details get stored inside the mysql table as well as those details gets fetched out from the table and start displaying inside this web page okay so now let me just go back to the editor and let's see here inside the categories the image gets saved and the path of the image along with these details also get stored inside the dance categories table as well okay so this is uh, how we can develop the functionality of uploading the categories or dance categories inside mysql database okay so uh, this is everything about this feature guys i hope you guys understood and uh, i have explained each and every line of this code i'm sure each and every guys i'm sure you guys have clearly understood this concept and uh, that's all for this video guys in my next video i will discuss about any other feature of this uh, application so that's all for this video guys if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching